Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will learn how to install Android Studio on Windows 11. So first step is to download the Android Studio. You can see the video and follow the process to download the file. <coughs> so basically, I'm using Internet Download Manager to speed up my process. I have provided the link so you can use that link and speed up your process. So it will take around 50 seconds to download the Android Studio file. <coughs> so to tell you, uh, Android 13 preview has recently been released. So you can try it out on your Windows, Mac or Linux operating systems. Let's wait for a while and wait for the file to get downloaded. These are the links for Mac and Linux and Chrome OS. You can use these links if you are using a Mac or a Linux operating system. So as you can see that the download is now complete. Now we will click open and proceed with the installation of Android so in this video I am using uh, Windows 10 and you can use the same process if you are on Windows 11 or any old operating system so this is the basic installation steps for Android Studio So the installation is complete and now you can select start android studio click do not import the settings and click ok now the android studio will install some files in the background so you can simply wait for a while you can click don't sign now click yes proceed with the standard installation there are two modes light and dark click next now accept the terms you can accept click finish now it will start downloading the components that are required to run Android 13 on your windows now let's wait now let's again wait for a while <coughs> So these are all the required patches that are being downloaded from Google and being installed on your Windows PC. And you don't have to worry if your installation gets hanged or seems to get hanged. Actually they are not hanged and the files are being extracted in the background and then being installed on your PC. So as you can see this dl.google.com these are all the files. Android SDK is up to date running Intel HAXM installer. Now click finish. Now you can see we are in the Android studio. Now we have to simply create a virtual machine. I'm using Pixel 5 since it supports Android 13 Tiramisu and you can click on the download button. So this step will continue it is a 1.4 GB file. It will take around 5 to 7 minutes so I'm going to I have skipped the downloader. Now you can click Tiramisu Android 13 and click next. Now you have to name your AVD. I am using Pixel 5 testing by Tech Richard. And there you can see the startup orientation, landscape and portrait. I have selected portrait and click the play button. 
you can simply click allow access and this will show you a pop-up of a pixel 5 mobile device so this is like a new android is being installed on your pixel 5 and you can see all the steps that are being shown here so this will take some time as the android version is being installed on your virtual device so coming to the experience with android 13 the interface the interface is quite innovative and new uh, and coming to the bugs uh, there were no major bugs <coughs> that i have encountered yet i'm still testing the android 13 As you can see this Google pop-up the Android is now proceeding so I tested this Android 13 on my Mac OS as well and it worked pretty good on my Windows since I have a low configuration PC the experience was a little slow but on mac os it was pretty fast so if you have mac and windows both i would highly recommend using a mac os on an apple device to test your android 13. so this is how a new smartphone boots The process is very similar to what we experience with the physical devices. see the pixel starting and now you will see the home page so if you face any issues please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like share and subscribe so this is the complete working so I was trying to scroll down okay so as you can see that the process is pretty simple and you can now go ahead and test your Android 13 on your Windows PC thank you very much do like share and subscribe